Unofficial talks continue between Tobago and Sandals Group. Power outage issues at Cove being addressed. And the Chief Secretary explains how he'll spend his final days in office. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Talks between Sandals and Tobago are beginning to crystallize. Kunda Freitas has this story. The Sandals Group has presented its concept for a proposed resort in Tobago. Chief Secretary Orville London says there are now unofficial talks between both parties to determine the way forward. Obviously, as any negotiation, as any process, sorry, especially a process that involves large investment, a process that involves, you know, very many different sectors and to a certain extent where emotive issues are concerned, you, you have to, you know, hasten slowly. Mr. London says one major plus for the project is the fact that many Tobagonians across multiple sectors will benefit from opportunities for training and business expansion. They said that they even prepared to give the farmers uh, pre-contracts, pre, um, pre if you want to put it like that, so that they can take it to the bank, so that the bank can say, well, listen, this person has a contract with Sandal, as you say, to produce a thousand eggs per day. It's not likely all food and goods will be available to Sandals in Tobago. But Mr. London says Sandals will seek to procure as much fresh local produce as possible. I'm Kern DeFreitas for Info Update. A solution has been found to Tobago's power problems. Omadara Mills has the details. Tobago has experienced a number of power outages in recent times. The Chief Secretary of London says the island's power supply is being affected because it's at peak usage. Those 64 megawatts are four plants, each of them carrying four, four, four um, engines or what you can call them. Each of them carrying 16 megawatts. If one of them is done for repairs or whatever, then you're going to have challenges in the, in the others meeting the load. The chief secretary says there are plans to install an additional 16 megawatt plant at the Cove Power Facility to alleviate the problem. Mr. London says tenders have already been invited for the new plant. I'm Amadara Mills for Info Update. The Chief Secretary says his remaining days in office won't be spent trying to fix everything. Caroline Wallace has more. Outgoing Chief Secretary over London says that, that position will be challenging for his replacement. Mr. London says before he leaves office, he will focus on making that person's transition easier. I believe that any new leader, whether... PNM or not, will have to accept what is, build on it and enhance it. And, and therefore, I, I want to make sure that that foundation is as strong as it can be. Mr. London says it's his responsibility to try to alleviate some of those challenges the next Chief Secretary will face. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Josanne Brassi and you've been listening to Info Update. The glitz, the glamour of the 30th anniversary of the Tobago International Cycling Classic comes to Tobago for six epic days of thrills and spills as cyclists from over 25 countries converge on this gem of the Caribbean for a week of activities, festivities and fun. The tempo will rise as cyclists confront the unforgiving terrain for the feature event, the UCI sanctioned tour of Tobago. The 2016 Tobago International Cycling Classic takes place on September 27th through October 2nd. Don't miss it. Special thanks to the event sponsors, THA, TDC, Sport Company, NLCB, Caribbean Bottlers, British Airways, Caribbean Airlines, Kiss Baking Company, Holiday Foods, and Econo Car Rentals. I'd like to know, once we gain self-government, right, what will be our top priorities as a unit to move forward and progress to be Once we achieve self-government, your top priority is developing to be Tobago. This is the last chance to have your say before the draft bill on Tobago's autonomy goes to cabinet. Join the Forum of Political Parties for the final convention on Sunday, October 2nd from 3 p.m. at the Lowlands Multipurpose Centre. For copies of the draft bill, call 639-3421 extension 2028 or download it from tha.gov.tt.